Afternoon, everybody. Seeds from the acorn squash, the butternut squash, man, whatever other squash. Hello, pick it up. Acorn squash and butternut squash. I'm gonna to try. I'm not just gonna be good because all the ingredients are good. Now, I'm gonna try butternut squash soup. And what I'm gonna put in it, besides butternut squash, that's gonna be the soup. You know, these are like really going on my head. I got all these squashes, you know? So I diced up. I diced up two white potatoes and one small acorn squash. I diced them up. And then I'm gonna, I have this onion that I cut in two. Half of it I'm gonna dice up, put in there. The other half is gonna go in with the uh, um, butternut. The butternut will be cut up, put on the stove, covered with water, probably show it to you. So it becomes soupy. Take it out, run it through the blender. In the meantime, I'm gonna saute the uh, potatoes and acorn and onion on another burner. And then I'm gonna, when that's soup, I'm gonna add them to that. Probably with, I might have to go back and check my other, my video on what I put in here. But I think so maybe like nutmeg and, and cumin and and, and cinnamon, get it in there, a little black pepper, maybe a pinch or two of hot pepper. But we don't want to tell the no everything cooked that, because if she finds out, then the no nothing cooked, well, he gets like beat up, man. So, anyways, let me uh, get this here peeled with my peeler, and then there, and then there. Okay, this, I put in two tablespoons of butter and two soup spoons of coconut oil. That coconut oil was so good on the, uh, the last one, the last soup that I made that I'm using it again on this one. Um, and here, what we're going to do, as you can see over here, this is the frying pan. This is also two heaping actually two and a half of um, of uh, our coconut oil and here we're going to add well, it's getting hot coconut oil I think is good to cook with I think it's got a high flash point and sort of like like what do you call it um, extra virgin and this is the Honey nut, butternut, butternut, squash, and half that onion. You can see how big they are. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to little, 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 little stutter over my words. Yeah, that's it. I'm good at stuttering. Um, I am going to get them to the oil and butter coats them. They get cold, that, that nice coating on them. And then I'm going to cook them for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to cover them with water, bring it to a boil, and then let it simmer for an hour or two, I think anyways, because I kind of cut these big, but I'm in no hurry for this. This soup is for tomorrow. Um, I think it's for tomorrow anyways. And uh, let me, uh, as that's going, we'll pause and get this going. I don't even have to pause, do I? I can um, just come over here. Turn the heat on. We'll start it off high because we're gonna saute these, and I think sauteing is on high. And coconut oil. My understanding, and I, you know, what my understanding is, is it's like when your team does good on the offense and not good on the defense, and you fire the offensive guy instead of the defensive guy. It makes sense, doesn't it? That's um, an old basketball, an old basketball thing of ours when we were kids. Anyway, somebody will understand that. Now I'm going to I'm going to add, um, I think butter to this. Should I add butter to this? Can you hear me out there? 
Should I add butter to this? Oh, butter goes good with everything, doesn't it? Butter and coconut oil. And onions. I could be, we're just gonna go with a tablespoon. I could be using extra virgin, but we're not. We're using this instead. It's gonna give it nice flavoring. It really does. Coconut. And I think a lot of these, I don't know, just, it was real good the last time. So I'm using it just to see. Okay, let me um, let me pause this till it melts. Okay, oh, you know what I forgot? Yeah, I'm always forgetting. And I bet you people know. Dog garlic. I didn't peel garlic for this. But I do things on my mind. What do you think? Will garlic go good in here? Yeah, garlic goes good in everything. But while this is sautéing, I'm going to pause, cut up my garlic, dice it up, and add to this. And i got to go get it. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but I tried to get some of them, <clears throat> excuse me, to brown on the bottom, on, on the side. And I was thinking, oh, look at this. And I was thinking if it, if it browned, that may change the, the flavoring add, maybe add a, add a taste of flavoring. I don't know, something I should have tried sooner. And up, give me a little bit. Okay, and then um, these are covered white. Well, they're, they're softening up and a couple of them got a little bit of a a little bit of a browning on it. I don't know if I see that. Am I in the camera? And, and, and I'm hoping that gives it, I don't know, they, they say like a nutty flavor or something like that. We'll find out. Maybe it'll be like a banana flavor or something. Okay, enough of stupid shit. And here, <clears throat> we're sauteing these. And I added some of the pepper flakes to this. And uh, this way here. They're in there already. It's too late. But I want to brown these a little bit. And I, I don't know about this copper thing. I don't know. You know, like, I don't have much of a say because I don't know anything. But I do know, I, I do know, like, I like cast iron much better. But we don't have a cast iron this big, I don't think. And uh, I think cast iron cooks and browns better than copper does. Okay, that's that. Uh, I'm going to finish this up, add the water to that, and then we'll show you. Okay, I put in three quarts of water. I have it on high heat. That covered it. Usually I thought it was four or five quarts. I'm glad I measured because I would have been lying to you. Uh, we're going to bring this to a boil. Then I'm going to cover it and let it simmer. Let's see, yeah, about an hour, I'd say. And then these over here, as you see them. They're cooking up nicely, and I want them to be totally cooked because they're not going to really do any cooking in the soup. They're going to be added to the soup when the soup is a soup. Right now, it's not soup. Okay, no nothing cooks. Going to take a break, clean up, and we'll be back when we'll be back. Something tells me that these acorn squashes was a good purchase. Anyways, waiting for that to, the, the soup to boil, I guess you can say that this is what it looks like now that I sauteed the acorn squash white potato and onion and garlic. A couple of them are toasted up. Okay. It's been approximately one hour and about a hundred pump or uh, squashies. Now, uh, I think it's done. Give it the fork test. But that looks delicious. Look, give it the fork test, right? Can't even find one. Here we go. Yeah, that's done. That's why I can't. It won't even. 
just goes right through them. So now, if you're as excited as I am, <laughs> it is time. Oh wow, this is gonna be delicious. We are gonna transport this into this. And we are going to make it pureed, I guess. Let me get this going. Okay, let me tell you. gotta turn it off. Let me tell you what I'm doing here. Is I thought, I, I think three quarts, three quarts of water was too much for the one um, butternut squash. Maybe I should have done two butternut squashes. But, so what I did is, I left about that much, I don't know, what's that, a quart? So maybe I should have just used two quarts. And then I'm gonna, I have it in this pot here pan, I'm gonna put it back in that pan and turn it on low and I mean it's done, it's ready to eat. And we're gonna enjoy it. How good is it gonna be? I don't know. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? See, I'm always forgotten. I forgot to add the, uh, Oh, that's gonna be even. That's delicious. Let me finish adding the um, the ingredients. Okay, ready for a little taste. Okay, come on, quit dripping. I don't think it's gonna stop dripping. Okay, ready. Mmm. <laughs> was that delicious or what? There's my little buddy coming in. I wonder if he wants some. Samson, you want some? Yeah, come here. Let's see here. Stay right there, little buddy. Stay right there. Bear with me. Okay. Here, let me. I'll tell you if it's good. Tell me. <laughs> it's good, huh? Finish licking up, okay. That is the final taste test. No nothing cook. Thanking you for the view. Samson thanking you for the taste. Appreciate the comments and the subs and whatever else they say you're supposed to say. But this soup, butternut squash with the potatoes and acorn in it and onion, dab a little pepper. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the only two things I put a little bit of cinnamon in, a little bit of ground cumin. You know everything cooked on me, don't, don't put the sage in. Okay, I'm out of here. Thanks for the view. Look at that. Clean. Don't even have to wash it. Deliciousness at its best. I don't know what the lighting here, but that's such a nice yellowish orange. And that's brujette bread, I guess, whatever they call it. We're going to indulge and enjoy.